The Eagle One Action returns to Ewell Park as Blackburn try to get back to winning ways. We take on Plymouth Argyle, midweek action. We'll talk about the match and more on today's show. That's right folks, back once again with another match preview. Yep, the games do come thick and fast, the League One Championship. And I'm hoping that Blackburn can get back to winning ways. Now before we get going, I want you to stop what you're doing, swallow what you're chewing and hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. As you can tell, I'm out in the wilderness one more time. Uh, we're doing a bit of fossil hunting. Um, but enough jibber jabber, let's get back into the build up to the match against Plymouth Argyle. Uh, the game will be Tuesday 17th of October at Ewood Park, uh, this time last season. Uh, Plymouth Argyle finished second in League 2 and the current top scorer is Fletcher with three goals. The man still pulling the strings for Plymouth is Derek Adams. And the form book. Over the years Blackburn and Plymouth have played 48 times. Both teams winning 19 and drawing 10 between them. So I'm hoping Rovers can take advantage of their uh, position in the league because Plymouth currently sit 24th and Rovers in mid-table at 10th. We do have a couple games in hand on a lot of teams above us so hopefully we can change that but uh, uh, if Saturday's form is anything to go by I doubt it. So the last few games between Blackburn Rovers have been like this. Uh, last time out it was all the way back in 1991 in the old League Division 2 when Blackburn picked up a 5-2 victory uh, October the 12th 1991. Um, and you're going to have to go all the way back to 1989, the last time Blackburn Rovers lost at Ewood Park to Plymouth. 2-1 defeat, March 11th. So here's my starting 11. Uh, I've decided to drop Antoine Sun and give Bradley Dack a start. Uh, I did consider giving Harry Chapman uh, a starting role as well, but I feel that he is best served off the bench uh, uh, for reasons that uh, Mowbray has stressed in the past. Um, I did bring uh, Paul Downing back into the mix, dropping uh, the donkey Elliot Ward. Uh, so my lineup is like this David Raya, Paul Caddis, Paul Downing, Charlie Mulgrew, Derek Williams, Craig Conway, Richard Smallwood, Corey Evans, Elliot Bennett, Bradley Dack, and Dominic Samuel. Moving on to the statistics, this is how it looks right now. We did pick up a whole host of yellow cards against the Oldham uh, in the Oldham match. Uh, so currently Elliot Bennett leads the way on four yellows, Corey Evans also there with four, I think that means one more yellow and they're going to be a, a one game suspension. Uh, as for goals, no change there, Dominic Samuel leads the pack with five, Charlie Morgan with three, Antwinson three, Smallwood with two, and still most importantly no red cards. But that is a huge factor that I'm, uh, that I'm worried about is the lack of goals. Um, whereas you see sides, even sides struggling at the bottom of the, of the table, still uh, they still managed to find the back of the net. Oldham had two players on six goals apiece and they got their winner came off the bench. So the goals in their team, it just seems to be a huge um, uh, lack of presence for us uh, we, with Samuel, Anderson and Graham all on relatively small numbers. Uh, let's take a look at the form book. This is the last five games for Rovers. Obviously the last, uh, last match was that 1-0 defeat against Oldham. Before that was an, another home defeat, 1-0 against Berry in the Checker Trade Cup. And then before that, uh, two home wins, one against Gillingham, one against Rotherham, and then that uh, crucial away point against Shrewsbury at their gaff, all the way back on 23rd of September. Moving on to Plymouth, this is how I feel they will start their team. Leatherin and goal, Sawyer, Edwards, Sonongo, Taylor Sinclair, Sachevich, Diagorara, Fox, Carey, Fletcher and Grant. Carey is one of those players that Plymouth like to uh, uh, be very vocal about. He has got two goals to his name, but the man Fletcher up front, he's the one to uh, keep it a closer eye on. Three goals so far, despite being rock bottom of the table with only six points. This is a must win game for Rovers. If we cannot beat Plymouth at our gaff and they are bottom of the table, then there's some serious considerations that need to be, uh, to, to, to be done. Um, whether it is managerial level, player level, uh, whatever it is, but it needs we need to be getting three points and then also uh, uh, further down the road picking up another three against uh, Portsmouth. But we'll talk about that later on in the week. So let's take a look at the statistics for Plymouth. Like I said earlier, Fletcher's got three goals so far, Carey's got two, Jervis has got two, he doesn't even make the start in 11, Edwards has got two. Uh, as for yellows, Carey's on five. Um, so he may miss the game, he may miss the Rovers game uh, if, if the statistics correct. He did feature last time out, so maybe he's already served a suspension. Miller's there with four, Edwards also there with four, Ness has got three. As for the red cards, Miller's got one red card, Kerry's got one, Sachevich has got one, and Bradley has got one. 
into the form book. Let's take a look. Last time out, Plymouth picking up a massive 1-1 draw at home to Tabletop as well. Then Tabletop of Shrewsbury. Before that, they lost to uh, Fleetwood Town at home. Uh, before that, they picked up a 2-2 draw, winning on uh, penalties uh, against Exeter City in the Checker Trade Cup. Uh, way back in September 30th, they lost 2-1 to Bristol Rovers. And if you turn the clock back all the way to 26th of September, they were on the back of a one-zip loss to Table Toppers Wigan Athletic. Now, over the years, a number of players have played for both Blackburn Rovers and Plymouth Argyle. Here are just a few. Paul Gallagher once represented Blackburn Rovers in his early days, and he also played for Plymouth Argyle. Also, uh, Premiership winning Nicky Marker. Yep, he might not have got a lot of credit for his, uh, for his uh, efforts during the 94-95 Premier League winning days, but he was there, and I believe he got a medal, but he also played for Plymouth Argyle. That's a bit of a retro photo there in the stripy green and white uh, uh, shirt. And finally, Damian Johnson, currently, currently under 23, head coach. He also played for Plymouth Argyle. There are a number of other players that I have saved for the return leg when we head back down, down south to take on Plymouth at their own gaff. But if you want to check out the full list, head over to my WordPress site, Details in the description below for a full list, and then you can beat the punch and uh, already be one up on your fellow Rovers. Now we've been at the butt of all jokes this past weekend, having lost to Older. What's people saying about the build-up to the Plymouth game? Over on social media, Dave Bickerton said, Look at the teams we've lost to. All played up to a big centre forward whom our defenders can't cope with. Need to work on that, Tony, as I'm sure Plymouth will be similar. Midfield bypassed, Whittington terrible, Williams worse, Ward terrible. Stuart Almond uh, also says on Facebook, uh, Roll on Tuesday, Plymouth at home and forget about today. Matt Douglas also on the same Rovers page. Need to batter Plymouth and Pompey now in the next week. Not sure where the goals are going to come from. Like pants. Meanwhile, also on Facebook, Chris Martin says, I know that what that result yesterday was bollocks, but we move on to the Plymouth at home Tuesday night. As the man at the moment looks to redeem himself. And there's a picture of Elliot Ward there. Stuart Ormond again, he says on the Rovers uh, Facebook page, 25 years ago, on this day, King Kenny was appointed manager and we beat Plymouth 5-2. We could do a, we could do with a bit of that. Uh, same fella, we could do with David Speedy playing on Tuesday as he knows how to score against Plymouth. As he got a hat-trick last time we played them in, back in 1992. So that's what the fans think. Here's what Cast the Cat has predicted for the big match between Blackburn Rovers and Plymouth Argyle. Pretty much all I've got for you folks so if you before you go make sure you head over to my YouTube channel check out my FIFA 95 hack series we've done the Plymouth game uh, so that's on there for your viewing pleasure and while you're over there give me a thumbs up for this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button or keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers so Mowbray it's up to you now you've got to pick the right start 11 and bring on the three points Rovers need to get another victory midweek to kick on to the weekend when we take on Portsmouth anyway until then Thumbs up, subscribe, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud and iTunes if you want to check me out on the go. But until next time, ciao for now. Thanks again for watching, please like, share and most importantly, hit that subscribe button and it'll get you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.